my tears. Mm -hmm. Woo! What's the name of that? Sukiyaki. Taste the honey. I love it. Anyway, look, Dan Land Pro here. 100 videos in 100 days. We're on episode 95. And we said that we were going to show you how to go into iMovies and use the double pan and zoom. So if you wanted to like, say zoom a photo through the Ken Burns effect, then you can double up or triple up on that in order to do other things to that particular photo. So you don't have just that uh, start and the end uh, like we sometimes do when we're doing basic edits. Hey. YouTube.com, Webmaster Dan or Danland Pro. Make sure you hit that subscribe and that like button. 100 videos in 100 days. Let's get started. Let me cut off my sukiyaki. Hi. Right. Peace. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find ourselves an image to use as our, uh, to show this particular effect. What we're going to do here is we're going to use a vertical picture because, uh, like we said in our last tutorial, that usually verticals and Ken Burns is somewhat difficult unless you really do some editing and you got like a background in there and you got your uh, you know try to mix the verticals with the horizontals where you have that constant change in size and if you do you want to make sure that they transition properly and with some type of smoothness to the point that it doesn't look awkward so what I'm gonna do is show you how to do it like a double edit in iMovies with the Ken Burn effect so if you want to say use a vertical picture where you want to really uh, uh, zoom and pan around that particular uh, uh, graphic then you could and I'm going to show you how to do that so if you didn't see my last uh, tutorial on iMovies and uh, Premiere and how to do the Ken Burns effect in that uh, tutorial you can go over to webmasterdanyoutube.com and you can see that particular uh, tutorial as far as how we did that so let's get started here and you can see what we're doing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go get us a picture. So let's go find us a picture. And like I said, we're gonna do something vertical. So let's bring that vertical down to our timeline. Now we got a vertical in there. And as you see, my vertical is right here. And you see what we're doing with this. So if we were to play that vertical, you see that vertical would do a default where it would go and it would uh, zoom or pan from bottom to top. That's pretty much what's happening here. So as we know in the Ken Burns effect, what we want to do is we want to go up here to this crop tool as we showed you before. Hit that crop tool and you'll see the styles, the different styles. Copy the fit. See, I can make that fit or I can fit or I can go Ken Burns. So we want to go Ken Burns and see what they did here. You see it started at the bottom and it zoomed to the top. That's the default. So what I would do, so let's just say we want to do a like a double pan or we want to concentrate on a specific area. So you know you can't do that with just these two beginning and ends and you, they don't give you the privilege or the tools to add uh, other additional positions in your pan and zooms. So just say we're gonna pan this from the top to the bottom. So I move, as you notice, to start this box you see in the uh, bottom left corner say start I put the start at the top and then I put the end you see in the bottom left corner say end I put the end at the bottom so if we were to pan this or move this through the timeline see it would it would go down through our information but just say I want to do one where it will pan down through our information and I want to come back and focus on the middle well, they don't offer any tools, so the easy fix to that is this. You click this and you copy this. You copy it, and now we're gonna paste that same uh, effect into our movie. And you see we got three of them, so I wasn't looking for three, but you can do three depending on what you wanna do. You can do it as many times as you want. So what I'm gonna do here is click on the second one that I copied, and we're gonna go back to the beginning and you don't really have to be on the beginning, but what we're gonna do is click on that crop tool and you see the beginning and the end. Now here's what I normally do. You see this little tool right here in styles, it's a tool right on the end, right next to the Ken Burns effect. And that'll switch the beginning and the end to whatever you want. So what I want is for those to shift positions. So what I'm going to do is click on that tool. Now you see my end 
on my next clip is the end from the last clip. So my start is from the last clip. See, the start here is at the top and we change positions. So my start here is at the bottom of this clip. So now we change positions. So now what I wanna do is shift my end. So I want my end to come to the middle where we're gonna focus on the information in the middle. And now you will see when I pan and zoom, you see, it's gonna come to the middle and stop. Whereas before we went from the bottom, we went from the top to the bottom. Now that second clip, because I changed the position of the Ken Burns effect, it's gonna go to the middle and stop. Now it's the same thing. Now if I want to say, if I want to zoom this from side to side or pan this, I would do the same thing. So since we already got it, we're gonna copy this one and do the same thing. So if we want to change our position, so we're gonna copy that one and we're gonna hit paste. And now we got one that zooms from top to bottom. Let's see, we got one that zooms from top to bottom. We got one that zooms and stops at the middle. And then we got the new one. And we're gonna erase that last one. I don't know why, why it's copying too, but that shouldn't happen. Maybe that's a default or something I don't know about right now at this time. But as you see, we got the same thing going on here. So we copied the second one. And now we're gonna hit crop and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna switch positions. So our end or our start, it'll start at the middle. And now just say, I want to come down here and just focus on this globe. I just want to focus on this particular globe and whatever information that was. And you see, it'll start at the middle and it'll go to that globe. So if just say I wanted to focus on that website part, that's how we do it. So that's how you pretty much do multiple edits in uh, iMovie as far as the Ken Burns effect. And you can do so many different things with it. So if I want to go and just focus at the top, then we would do the same thing. We would copy this, switch the beginning and the end. Well, uh, the, the end, the beginning of our new clip is the end of our last clip. And then we could position our stuff uh, around or our graphic around around to the information that we want to be. Now the cool thing about this is that when you're doing something like maybe a product shot or something where you're doing something small, like you may be doing some earrings or something, or you see me sometimes do microphones and different types of earplugs and some of the things that you see me do on some of my product pages, as far as how we advertise that, this is the process that you would take as far as filming some of those things or using some of the graphics that you might take in order to put an emphasis on a specific product or item, especially some of the smaller uh, products that you want to focus on. So this Ken Burns effects in iMovies, like I said, it's a basic program, a simple program to some people because it usually come with certain uh, software on certain machines and then you got your, your defaults. But when you really get into it, as far as what you want to do, as you can see, you can do some different stuff with iMovies. And then, like I say, I might go into uh, Premiere Pro or something like that and do some other things. Now, what we also covered in our last tutorial I'm gonna say this and then this will be the end. As you see in between clips, like anything else, you can put a transition in there if you want to. So you will go up here, you see where it says my movie, audio, titles, backgrounds, transitions. You can put a transition in there. You can put anything in between those two clips that you so desire. So let's just do a quick, uh, we really don't wanna do a cross dissolve, but let's do something simple like, let's do a circle and you'll see that now when that comes across, see, it gave you that little circle. But when you have usually the same graphic, you're not gonna see a big effect unless you fade to black and come back in like you might use to do an intro or something. But this is pretty much how you can do that Ken Burns effect and use it any type of way you want or however your imagination comes up. And that's pretty much how it goes. So uh, as you can see, we didn't mind uh, showing you those particular things. And that's pretty much how you do that Ken Burns effect. So let's get back on here and let's see. Hey, this is Dan Land Pro and that's pretty much it as far as this tutorial. We said yesterday that we would come back with episode 95 and show you how to do that Ken Burns effect and uh, how to move it around. Now use your imagination. You don't have to do it exactly the way I did it because your flyer may be uh, decorated different and you can do the same thing with horizontal or vertical pictures. And you can also maybe stack, sometimes you can stack horizontal and vertical uh, graphics 
together and you can use that Ken Burn effect to move around. You can put different things in there. So now when you go into the more robust programs like After Effects and Premiere, you can use that same type of imagination to do even more stuff with your information as far as what you're trying to present or advertise. Now, what I'm gonna do is get back to my sukiyaki. I love me some taste of honey because you ever hear those songs that take you back to the past and you can remember exactly where you were and what you had on and what you was doing when that song was playing. And this particular song reminds me of Ron Brisman's Hideout <laughs> to, when I hear this song right here because I used to come home from the military and uh, that was a song that I used to love to hear whenever I was in that spot. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Until next time, I'm Dan Land Pro, 100 videos in 100 days. Make sure you go over to Wear Master Dan, YouTube.com. Hit that subscribe and that like button. Until next time, episode 95. Peace.